to explain exactly what they're doing. So he's taken us to a restaurant first of all because obviously there's usually lots of tourists and people and he's actually told us that we need to go and reserve our lunch first and then we'll start the tour. So Chalmers just gone into this cute little restaurant and he's gone to reserve the lunch. So there we go. Another tip. But the tax that tuk tuk drivers know everything, so just let them guide you. Okay, so you may remember when we were in Mana, we saw the baobab tree. Remember I said there was only two of them here in Sri Lanka? This is the second one because we're now on the island of Delft. And you can see again, the size of this trunk is just massive. So again, remember that these trees aren't native to here. They're native to Australia, Madagascar and Africa. But we have two here. And this one's really cool because I just did a little bit of video and you can actually go inside the tree. Okay, so we've arrived at one of the one of the sites you can see on the island this is called the growing stone now why is it called the growing stone apparently seven years back it was a lot smaller maybe like half the size and over seven years it's gradually grown and the people believe that it's got the sort of impression of a snake so they feel that there's a god that's basically here that's protecting the island so that's why you can see there's flowers and and they, they use it as like a shrine at the banyan tree now apparently this tree is 600 years old and what we're going to show you now this is all the same tree take a look That. So we've now arrived at what is called the Queen's Tower. Now in the olden days there wasn't a light here. There used to be a port and a jetty here for the trade coming from India to here. So what they used to do is when we turn around and not yet, when we turn around and you see the tower, you'll see an archway and in the archway there's where they used to burn and the smoke used to come out of the top and that used to alert the boats that there was actually land here. So this is the Queen's Tower.
once you stop at the Queen's Tower, there's this little stall here with everybody with where you can get a nice drink of aloe vera. Okay. So behind me is the old Dutch hospital. They don't currently use this now, they're just maintaining it. Apparently the Brits did it up, I don't know. Administrative. Huh? British changed for the administrative. Oh, they changed for the administration. And then over here, and then over here, we're going to go to the pigeon, what they call pigeon holes. Yeah. And they used to use these for sending and receiving of messages in the olden days. So let's take a look. So before we had these and GoPros and telephones, etc., this is how they used to send and receive messages. No TikTok. If you wanted to get a message across the island, you needed to use a pigeon. And over to the left, we have what used to be the old, they used it as a courthouse. So this is where they used to make all the judgments, etc. So the next place we've arrived at is something called the Giant Footprint. Now the people here believe that um, the Hindus have a god which is similar to a monkey and they believe that this footprint is actually made by him. So. Uh -huh. places we visited earlier was to go and see the huge packs of horses unfortunately because of the weather they were all under cover apparently this old ruins here is what used to be where they used to keep the horses so the Brits and the Dutch this is where they used to bring the horses over and keep them here in stables used to use them for transportation for obviously for work and things like that so the Brits are here again about today um, and I'm, I'm really like there's two things I'm going to talk about today okay so firstly you'll have seen if you follow me on my Instagram 
that I get a bit annoyed about the garbage, okay? Whilst we've been travelling around, the scenery is so stunningly beautiful and yet there is just rubbish everywhere. And what really annoyed me today was there were three bins and they were all empty because we looked inside. And people had just thrown the rubbish at the side of the bins and then at the other side literally take five paces and put your rubbish in the bin and look after this beautiful beautiful country that you've got now i'm not saying it's all sri lankans i think it probably is some sri lankans i could be some tourists as well i'm not saying who it is but people need to be educated that this is a stunningly beautiful place and people are ruining it even now this is even when we were on the ferry coming back today i was stood up because we were nowhere to sit down and i saw people throwing five or six bottles into the sea and they were all um locals from the island or that were visiting the island on the top of the boat i mean why seriously why so that's one thing that's really annoyed me today and i felt a bit disappointed okay the other thing now everywhere i go in sri lanka tourists are charged and they charge a slightly higher rate sometimes a quite a bit higher rate i don't have an issue with that i don't have an issue with that at all what i have an issue with is a ferry service that is offered to locals and tourists free of charge i have to say to both that is completely and utterly, if you've seen again my Insta stories, completely and utterly unsafe. I mean, they crammed us in, and you'll see videos in this vlog, you'll see videos of how we're crammed in. We were crammed in. There wasn't, I mean, I, my boob got elbowed about 10 times by one guy, I kept stepping on somebody's feet. It was totally and utterly unsafe. No life jackets, no 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 sort of safety message or briefing before we left off it was just let's cram as many people as possible into this boat and at one point the boat was like this literally when people were getting on it it was so i i was actually having a bit of an anxiety attack about it whoever looks after these kind of activities please okay you have a naval force the naval force run this service okay charge the tourists charge me money please charge me money i'm more than happy to pay use that money to buy a boat that's well maintained and safely you know, manned for the tourists and if you want to risk your own people's lives risk your own people's lives but if you're going to offer a service to the tourists it needs to be safe man can you imagine the press that sri lanka would get if something happened and there was expats visiting the country on that boat because I'm telling you now, if anything happened to that boat, there is no way, sorry, mosquitoes, there is no way any of us would have got out of there alive, except the people that were on the top, they might have been out and jump off. We'd, we'd have had no chance, no chance. Anyway, run over. I will be attaching some people to this vlog to uh, seriously get something done. But all in all, it was a good day. We didn't do very many kilometers because obviously we stayed overnight here. We did around 70 kilometers around 70 kilometers we went to see one of the most iconic um hindu temples here unfortunately they wouldn't let me video inside um so we could only take some pictures and videos on the outside and just now ready to start tomorrow's long ass trip it's a total of 278 something like that kilometers tomorrow we're actually going to end up in trinko chakombe and we're there for two nights so we get a bit of a break again tomorrow i have to say if i when we do this again because we will do this again but we'll do it with the other side of the island i don't think i'll cram as much in i think i'll take more rest days because we haven't really had any rest days at all have we literally when we've come to one place we've had stuff to do we've come even if we've stayed two days we've had stuff to do but day one and stuff to do day two so We've had no rest and I am exhausted, absolutely exhausted. But that's it. Is this day four? Day four is done. I know I'm really behind on my vlogs. I'm exhausted. I've done day one and day two. 
Day three and day four are yet to be done. I promise I will get them um, done as soon as possible. But for now, thank you for following me and watch out.